So who am I speaking with? Uh, Anton Chuvakin, Security Warrior Consulting. And you just gave a presentation on SIM. For those of us who don't know what that is, explain. So I was talking about security information and event management, which is a technology to collect data from different types of systems and figure out what the information means, report on it, alert, correlate, analyze, do fun stuff like that. So why, it's actually a fairly new area. It's only been around, what, maybe 10 years or so, right? Uh, 10 years in IT realm is kind of eternity, right? But it's been the first products of that sort appeared in late 90s, kind of in 97, 98. So it's not that old compared to some other security stuff. So what? Let, let's just start with what are the big issues in SIM now that we didn't have a year ago? Well, most of the SIM issues are the ones that were with us a year ago, two years ago, and that's people not being able to deploy and sort of like internalize, operationalize SIM technology. Because a lot of SIM is purchased, acquired, deployed, and then not really operationalized, not absorbed in daily operations. And to me, when really advanced organizations dealt with SIM in the past years, they sort of went, they powered through these challenges by really planning carefully. When we try to sell and sort of like explain and sort of deliver SIM to smaller, less aware, less mature organizations, they need something much more quick and much more straightforward than uh, a 237 step checklist. I remember actually talking about this with you last year and the fact that this was a common problem where people would implement a solution just to be quote compliant and then never actually manage it. Is this, are we still dealing with this issue? Well, here's a funny story. Uh, people can, who can deploy an appliance or software to be compliant uh, and then never use it really aren't compliant because many of the regulations actually mandate that you look at the data, touch the, touch the system. So, for example, PCI mandates log review, not just log collection. So in that sense, if you deploy it for compliance, you actually have to use it for compliance. And that's not that commonly understood, unfortunately. Is there a, sort of a certain uh, number of times I need to be looking at it? Daily, hourly, minutely? I mean, what's, uh, what is considered compliant? Well, in case of PCI, uh, PCI DSS, there is a requirement for daily log review. So unless you can explain why daily is impossible, you're looking at the log data pretty much every day or having an automated system review the data every day and then respond to that. I want to jump to one thing that you brought up in your presentation about getting quick wins. And the, the audience really lit up on that. Uh, explain, you, you essentially put together two challenges and you asked people what is the most effective. Oh, okay. So that was actually a fun example because uh, occasionally people think about SIM as the following. Let's figure out all the problems we can solve with SIM. Let's figure out what features we need to solve all the problems. Let's figure out what data we have to collect to, for solving all the problems. And then deploy the system, collect all the data, and then s hopefully solve all the problems. In reality, there's another way to do phased approach, is to focus on one problem, architect and engineer to solve that problem, solve it, and then proceed to the second problem. By the way, it goes without saying that if you are trying to deploy SIM without using a phased approach, you're always, always, always fail. Now the two choices I presented were two ways to do phased approach. Phased by functionality or phased by problem. And the example ended up with me explaining why solving one problem is typically more popular and results, results in more successful deployments in the real world. Even though conceptually it seems like building a superset of all your problems and then building the technology to solve all of these seems like a logically more clear and uh, sort of the right, quote unquote, right approach. In reality, the other approach ends up being more effective in the real world. Why is uh, a not doing a phased approach always a failure? Oh, because there's like way too many moving pieces and most of them are outside of your control. By your, I mean the security analyst, security manager who doesn't own all the IT systems. So if you try to say, we're gonna deploy a SIM, send all the data in there and solve all the problems, sort of during the first week, first month, that would never work. Likely you wouldn't even go to collecting the data. Likely you would fail during the first step, essentially. And uh, planned, a planned phased approach is the only way to go. Is The question only is how do you plan that phased approach?